Red, 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 red League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker, Stitcher, and Radio Public. At Red League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. At Red League Pod on Twitter. Episode 8 coming soon. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram, or YouTube itself. What up, world? So I just watched The Grinch. It is the new animated release from Illumination Entertainment, which has done everything you see behind me, give or take about three posters. The Despicable Me franchise, Minions, Hop, The Lorax, Secret Life of Pets, Sing, and um, I don't know if they got any other original movies coming next year or not, honestly. They're about to start churning out sequels. But I'm getting sidetracked, man. It stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Rashida Jones, um, Cameron Seeley, Scarlett Estevez, Angela Lansbury. And it's narrated by Pharrell Williams. It's directed by Scott Mosier and Yaro Chaney. I know Yaro Chaney's done some other Illumination titles, but I don't know which one's off the top of my head. If you want to get a shout out in my review of either Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, or hopefully Widows or Instant Family, stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. So, uh, honestly, man, do I really got to break down this plot synopsis? The Grinch. He lives on a mountain that oversees Whoville. Whoville is full of the Who's, and they, they love Christmas. Every single thing about it. The Grinch hates Christmas. Every single thing about it. And he snaps one day close to Christmas and decides he's going to steal everything. The, all the presents, all the trees, all the cookies, all the lights, all the decorations. So the Who's have no Christmas. Iconic story, man. Like, if, if you... If you, if you don't like Dr. Seuss, I don't know, like, I, I can't imagine what type of childhood you had. Like, Dr. Seuss makes the dopest children's stories. I would like to see a theatrical um, Green Eggs and Ham, by the way. Um, I've seen, I think I've seen every theatrical Dr. Seuss movie. I like them all for what they are. Like, say what you want about the cat in the hat. Mike Myers is a comedic genius who I have missed and uh, for about 10 years now. But um, this movie, man, like it's Illumination. Illumination has a very distinctive look to the way that they put their characters and movies together. And this movie looks beautiful, man. Uh, the greens pop. The reds pop. Like it's so bright. The white is bright. Uh, got me rhyming like a, like a Dr. Seuss movie, man. Um, it's funny, like, Benedict Cumberbatch is low-key perfect as the Grinch. At times, he sounds like Bill Hader, but he's great. He gave me quite a few laughs. Um, like, it's the second theatrical Grinch movie, so I can't help but compare it to the Ron Howard, Jim Carrey movie. And I gotta give that one a point for narration, because I'll take... Anthony Hopkins narration over Pharrell seven out of seven days out of the week. There was just something about Pharrell's narration that I just wasn't a big fan of. The Ron Howard one adds the Grinch's backstory as far as he was picked on and bullied in school. The girl he liked ended up with the mayor, blah, blah, blah. The mayor's a douchebag, blah, blah, blah. This one adds backstory for the Grinch. It's different. I actually like his backstory in this one better. There's there's more like Cindy Lou Who going on that I kind of like a little more in this one. Like like Cindy Lou Who was funny in this one, and what she wants for Christmas is really cool. But like at the same time, both movies kind of have that like added story, you know what I'm saying? Because like the TV special back in what the 60s was only like 35, 45 minutes long. So to get a feature-length theatrical movie, you have to expand character and, and plot and 
and and different things. You have to add things that Dr. Seuss didn't write. And like that in both movies, that takes me out of it. Not because it's bad, not because I dislike it. It's just new. It's just different. Um, I enjoy this movie. It hit me in the feels toward the end, like real hard. Like its message about what Christmas is, is very dope. Like I want to say it, but it could be considered a spoiler. But at the same time, like this is what a 50 year old story. Everybody's seen the Grinch who stole Christmas read, you know, in some way, shape, form or fashion knows this story. And I love, I love specifically in today's climate, everybody needs to see this for the message that materialistic possessions are nothing. They can be gone tomorrow, man. Like Christmas is about love and, 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 you know, friendship and relationships and personal bond and just being happy. And, um, and like there, there's Christmas music in here and it's, it's dope. The songs they use, the Christmas related songs that they use are very dope. Um, there's one scene where he's getting ambushed by like this mob of, of holiday carolers. It's pretty funny. Um, and then what the Grinch, like the Grinch, like had an epiphany about, his cause, his whole fight that led to the movie. And that's what started getting me in my feels, man. Uh, so with all that being said, I think, and also, like, I think every animated review needs to have this little tidbit. Like, kids, of course, will love this. It's it's a silly animated cartoon movie that everybody has grown up with. Whatever version you've grown up with, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I don't think parents will hate this. I, I don't know if my boy was trolling me, but he said that this was like being reviewed as one of Illumination's weakest movies. Not in my opinion, man. With, with all that being said, in my opinion, I will say that The Grinch is almost dope. Have you seen The Grinch? What did you think about it, man? Positive, negative, somewhere in between. Let me know. Um, I think, I don't, it's really a toss up, man. Like a few little minor tinkers here and there and the live action Jim Carrey movie and this are almost the same movie. Um, so I really can't pick which one I like better, man. Which one do you like better? And, uh, if you want that shout out in my first review next weekend, man, within $2 million higher or lower, how much will the Grinch make opening weekend, man? Be the first, be the closest. Get your guesses in by noon central time Sunday. I've recently posted reviews for Bohemian Rhapsody for October releases such as Halloween, Goosebumps, First Man, Bad Times at the El Royale, Venom, and The Star is Born. Um, tomorrow, I want to watch Overlord and I want to watch The Girl in the Spider's Web. Stay tuned for all of that, man. Next weekend, like I said, Fantastic Beasts. The Crimes of Grindelwald. I'm running through the Harry Potter series as we speak. Um, hopefully Widows comes to my theater. I'll be crushed if it doesn't, man, because it looks phenomenal. And then I'll see Instant Family, man. I'm a, I'm a Mark Wahlberg fan. And then over the Thanksgiving stretch, I definitely want to see Creed 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and Robin Hood, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me? Watch these credits. Peace.